Motivational speaker Dennis S. Brown once said, the only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Is it really just your attitude when your cat poops on your dinner though? Or when you accidentally dye your entire face pink? What about allergic reactions, monumental mishaps, and total hell no moments like these? You're watching today's video thanks to the totally wicked NordVPN, which is guaranteed to make your day better if you stick around. Coming up are some unfortunate souls who are definitely having a worse day than you. When the time rolls around for you to get your hair cut again, do you go to the barbers with a plan in mind or do you just wing it? Well, one poor man probably wishes he took a more relaxed approach to his latest trim after he decided to take in a reference photo and ended up with possibly the worst haircut of his life. Here's the photo he took and here's the haircut he got. Do you see what went wrong? That's right, this poor guy innocently paused a video to get a screenshot of his desired haircut only to have a giant play button shaved into the side of his head. You can't say it isn't original, plus it's still better than some of the homemade cuts I've seen during lockdown. People have been having bad days all throughout history. In fact, I'd say that people of the past were in far more danger of having a real stinker than us. When was the last time you had to worry about being crushed by a giant boulder raining down from the sky? These unfortunate remains were uncovered by archaeologists in Pompeii in 2018 and are thought to belong to a man in his 30s who was fleeing the doomed city during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. It's as if life said, screw this guy in particular. Next time you think your day couldn't get any worse, just ask yourself, is it really that bad? As far as bad days go, being told you're no longer considered legally alive has got to be pretty awful. Hold up. Is that even possible? Apparently so if you ask 65-year-old Constantine Rilou from the town of Barlad in Romania. In 2018, a court ruled that poor old Constantine was officially dead despite some pretty damning evidence that he was actually alive and standing in their presence. After leaving Romania for nearly 20 years to work in Turkey without making any contact with his family, his wife had decided to obtain a death certificate for him in 2016. When Constantine basically returned from the grave two years later, his mother was hospitalized in shock while an old colleague almost fainted after seeing him. When Constantine appealed against the death certificate though, he was told it was too late to overturn. Does that make him a real life ghost? It's true what they say, life comes at you fast, especially when you're speeding down the highway and a snake suddenly slithers out of your AC vent. That's exactly what happened to Florida woman Monica Dorsett back in 2017 who turned on her AC while sat at a stoplight only to find the serpent creeping across her hand. Dorset thinks the red rat snake must have gotten into the vent when her husband cleaned her car out a week earlier. Although she escaped unharmed, she still couldn't shake the feeling that it could have laid eggs in there. Yikes. That's one day you certainly wouldn't be able to forget about. Then again, this is Florida we're talking about. That must have been a pretty terrifying experience, right? Have any of you guys had a day when it seems like life is just conspiring against you? Let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to a few of my favorites. I promise I won't laugh, I'm genuinely interested. Now let's get back to it. Speaking of snakes, it seems like they're capable of getting in just about anywhere. Check this out. Believe it or not, the egg this serpent is closely guarding isn't its own. It belongs to a chicken. When the chicken's owner went to check if any eggs had been laid, I'm sure this was not what they were expecting to see. Suddenly, I'm intrigued to find out what a chicken that had been raised by snakes would look like though. If there's one lesson you should learn in life, it's that expectations rarely match up with reality, especially when it comes to food. Case in point, this SpongeBob ice cream. Imagine being an excitable child and opening one of these bad boys up expecting to chat out on your favorite cartoon character only to find this demonic entity hiding beneath the wrapper. Do you believe in bad omens? Even the biggest skeptic would have trouble explaining this one. In case you're wondering how a dead bird ended up on someone's laptop, the answer is simple. It flew through an open window and croaked on the spot. Oh, but not before it pooped on the laptop first as one final hurrah. Surely that's enough for you to want to shut your laptop screen and give up working for good, right? If you thought that was bad, check out this unfortunate person who ended up with a dead bird and their yogurt when it dropped out of a tree as they had just sat down for breakfast. Sorry buddy, but it looks like today just isn't your day.
The centuries-old French proverb, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, may sound strange, but it's generally true. Except, of course, when you take it a little too literally like this sucker. Still, dropping a large box of eggs is really nothing compared to what these guys are going through. As far as bad days at work go, I'd say this one looks pretty rough. The only thing that can make that situation any better would be to accept defeat and create a slip and slide for the ages with all that spilled yolk. Just me? Most will agree that it's better to attempt something than to not try at all, but that isn't always the case. For instance, the company who wanted to make their fountain pink in support of breast cancer awareness, but ended up doing this instead. Get yourself a bunch of frogs, lice, and locusts, and you've got the makings of an uncanny recreation of the seven plagues of Egypt. Still, that's not quite as embarrassing as this fountain, which was supposed to be transformed for childhood cancer awareness, but ended up looking like pee. Maybe they should just stick to the donations for now. These days, people are way too hung up on capturing the perfect Instagram shot. So it's a breath of fresh air when we get a peek into what actually goes on behind the scenes. Just take a look at this innocent looking girl who thought getting a shot with the pigeons on the sidewalk would be an absolute breeze. Newsflash, pigeons are nothing if not unpredictable. And you're gonna learn it the hard way. I don't know about you, but the unrehearsed pigeon attack photo should totally be the one that makes the gram, in my humble opinion. Putting your faith in other people to ensure your day goes smoothly is always risky business. Just ask Aussie dad Shane Halford, who ordered a $49 birthday cake from Woolworths three days before his son Mason's third birthday, only to realize he could have probably done a better job himself. Halford asked if the cake could be decorated with a colorful number three and a big green frog, but this is what he got instead. Woolworths claimed the cake couldn't be fixed, but thankfully a friend with some decorating skills dolled it up before the party. Thank goodness a three-year-old is hardly the biggest cake decorating aficionado. Would you be happy to receive that disastrous cake? If that cock up made you crack a smile, you should totally hit that like and subscribe button just so I know I'm doing something right. Oh, and if you wanna make sure you never miss out on an upload, hit that bell icon too. Go on, you saucy devil. There are some things in life people should know better than to go anywhere near, and one of those is definitely cactuses. Back in 2012, one golfer had a particularly painful experience with the prickly plants when he fell back into a bunch of jumping chola cacti during his swing, and ended up looking like this. The jumping chola gets its name from the fact that even the slightest touch will cause each individual stem of the plant to detach or jump, leaving a person with bits of cactus hanging off them without knowing. Basically, this poor dude is about to experience a whole world of pain. There's a reason why so many products remind you to always read the label. And when Palmer Paint created its washable glitter products, it probably didn't cross their mind to include a specific warning not to lather the stuff all over your face. In 2017, Twitter user Lele Till, also known as Leah Till, earned herself viral fame after she posted a hilarious before and after shot of her face covered entirely in neon pink glitter paint with the caption, See you in court, Palmer Paint products. In case you can't tell the difference, one of these photos was taken after Leah had washed and scrubbed her face to try and remove the pink glow. Her defense was that the label clearly reads, washes easily off skin and out of most fabrics. But this whole situation still begs the question, what was she doing covering her face in neon pink in the first place? I hate to imagine how hard the boredom of quarantine has been hitting her. Speaking of quarantine, most people have been spending more time indoors surfing the web than ever before. You're gonna wanna make sure you stay as safe as possible online, and that's where today's video sponsor, NordVPN, comes in. Do you already use a virtual private network or VPN? Most people don't, and that means your personal data like your IP address, location, and browsing history could fall into the wrong hands. But the award-winning NordVPN has got your back. NordVPN acts like your personal online guardian, securing your Wi-Fi connection and encrypting your data to keep you safe while you surf. NordVPN has super speedy servers in 60 countries, giving you full access to everything the web has to offer no matter where you are. There are plenty of other awesome benefits too, like unlocking Netflix and other sites that might be blocked in your location, up to six simultaneous connections, 
and 24-hour customer support. NordVPN is compatible with most operating systems, including Windows, Android, and iOS. So if you want the best VPN for your computer or mobile device, just check out the irresistible Black Friday deal in the description box down below. If you opt for their awesome two-year plan using our code BEAMAZED at the checkout, you'll receive four additional months free. Now, where were we? Ever had a day when you think everything is going great and then BAM! A seagull swoops down and nabs your ice cream just as you were taking a photo of it in all its glory? Talk about a kick in the teeth, or should I say beak? Marauding seagulls actually prefer foods that have been handled by humans first, which is why they'll fight tooth and nail for a portion of chips or a lick of your ice cream at the beach. Apparently, staring them out is the only way to deter them. Next time, try keeping your eyes on the birds, not the prize. Speaking of ice cream, could there be anything more disappointing than watching this happen before your very eyes? Whoever thought taking a photo of this towering soft serve was the number one priority was already playing a dangerous game. So some might say this is just karma at work. Do you ever see something and think to yourself, how did that even happen? This is one of those moments. This guy is gonna have a real hard time explaining this one to his mom, although with sock matching skills like those, it's really no wonder the floor keeps eluding him. Of all the madness in these photos, the most outrageous part is that he's missing iCarly on the TV. Serves you right for falling through the floor, I guess. Getting a tan is a common goal for most people, but there's a whole list of hashtag pale people problems those lucky enough to secure a golden glow often take for granted. Even when you're not subjecting yourself to the sun's powerful rays intentionally, jeans with holes in the knees are never a good idea. They look painful enough already, but just imagine how terrible those tan lines are going to look further down the line. Still, nothing could be as tragic as these tan lines. Good luck evening those out, buddy. You'll be sat there for a pretty long time. Allergies are no fun for anyone, especially when you didn't even know you had them in the first place. Just take a look at this poor, unfortunate soul who moved to Italy to pursue her dream of becoming a beekeeper. The last thing she expected was for her face to blow up like the Michelin Man after being stung in the forehead by one of the little blighters and waking up 10 hours later looking like this. Looks like a career change is in the cards. The same can be said for this poor little girl who finally managed to convince her mom to let her have a cat, only to find out she was allergic when she got her hands on one. Sorry, kitty, but it looks like you're going back up for adoption. Sometimes the comfort of your own bed is the only thing you yearn for after a terrible day. But even that basic luxury was cruelly snatched away from this person when they arrived home to find this. In case you're not sure what you're looking at here, those are rodent footprints on the blankets. Yep, it's time to burn the whole house down. Rats are pretty terrifying, but you know what's even worse? Spiders, at least in my book. Can you imagine walking into the bathroom in the morning and spotting this? Is that the worst game of hide and seek ever or what? It really seems like these eight-legged freaks just love to terrorize us humans. Could you find yourself in a situation more catastrophic than this while using a public restroom? The phrase, damned if you do, damned if you don't, really springs to mind here. The key to having a great day is by kicking it off right to begin with. They do say breakfast is the most important meal of any day, and if you're feeling healthy, a smoothie is always a great option. That is, until something like this happens. Whether it's your first time whipping up a turmeric smoothie or not, this is a pretty mean feat. What's your blender powered by? Rocket fuel? Bad weather can really be a total day ruiner, and I'm not just talking the odd shower. When Colorado was pummeled by a monumental hailstorm in 2018, this moonroof was turned into a droopy, glistening chandelier. Seems like black magic, but it's actually the plastic between the glass that's holding the water up. It may not be ideal for the owner of the car, but am I the only one who thinks it looks kind of beautiful? Kids are agents of total chaos. Sometimes their incessant mischief is nothing but a pain in the neck. Other times, you end up with something hysterical like this perfectly timed image of a Coast Guard demonstration gone wrong. For the kids, this was probably a great day, but for that poor guy, it might just go down in history as one of the worst days of his life. Always wear a helmet is one of the main rules when it comes to riding a motorcycle. The basic reasons why this is so drummed into us are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll bet you hadn't really considered something like this before. If you've ever accidentally swallowed a fly while cycling before, just imagine this living nightmare. Cleaning that up when you get home is gonna be a task. 
At least he was wearing a full face mask though. Just take a look at this poor fella. The regret is written all over his face. And flies. Being an amputee comes with its own set of daily challenges, but prosthetic limbs can be a great help. That is, when you remember to screw them on properly, unlike this forgetful guy. Hey, at least he's able to see the funny side. And the fridge now has just as many hands as he does. On a scorching hot day, one of the only things that can make things bearable is an ice cold beverage. But being served this gruesome drink is enough to turn anyone's day upside down. Coke with a side of cockroaches, anyone? The real concern here is how much this person managed to drink before realizing what must have been causing such a foul taste. When Hannah Montana sang, Everybody Makes Mistakes, Everybody Has Those Days on her song, Nobody's Perfect, she was speaking nothing but truth. There are minor errors like dropping your salad, and then there's major cock-ups like this one. Anyone for a dip in the soil? I mean, pool? Dropping your entire pizza moments after it arrives is a modern day tragedy if I ever saw one. And this dude is displaying the only acceptable reaction to such a failure. Those fools really do tug at the old heartstrings, but few situations are quite as painful to witness as this one. When this driver in France left their car parked on a verge, builders decided to go ahead and dig a great big hole around it, leaving the vehicle totally stranded. Some will say the builders probably tried to notify them before going ahead with their plans, so it could well be the driver's fault. But either way, this doesn't look like a great day for any party involved. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Sure, cats are adorable sometimes, but most of the time, they're scheming evil masterminds. Don't believe me? Just take a look at this diabolical scene. That's right, this cat really decided to go and take a full-on dump in their owner's rice cooker. I guess it kind of does look like a litter tray, and it is their fault for leaving the thing open in the first place. But it's a good job they noticed before it was too late. Imagine chowing down and thinking, I don't remember adding sausage to this casserole. It isn't just us humans who have bad days. Just check out this poor little fella. It doesn't matter how he got there. All that matters is getting back on his tiny little feet again. I know tortoises can't really speak, but if this one could, it would totally be saying, well, don't just stand there and photograph me, stupid human. Pick me up. That tortoise isn't the only one facing his poor life decisions. In case you're wondering what happened to this cat to end up with those sophisticated curly whiskers, he smelled bacon on the stove and got a little too close for comfort. Honestly, who can blame him? You can see in his eyes that he doesn't regret it one bit. Sometimes it feels like life is just laughing at your expense. Breaking your favorite mug is one thing, but smashing one which reads best day ever is all kinds of ironic. If I were this person, I'd just sweep the mess into the bin and head right back to bed. If you thought that was ironic, just take a look at this total tease. Vending machine fails are annoying enough as it is, but when your would-be snack is literally taunting you from inside, come on man, you couldn't write this stuff. Whoever snapped this photo, the gods truly frowned on you this day. Celebrities might be rich and famous, but they totally have bad days too. They are human after all. Remember that time Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal tricked Ryan Reynolds into thinking their Christmas party in 2018 was sweater themed? Look at his little face. He's totally not amused. At least it was a great day for them though. There are two sides to every coin, I guess. Recognizing your own mistake is the first step to rectifying it, but sometimes it's far too late to turn things around. Just ask this loser. Let's just hope someone else was around to save the day, otherwise this could turn into a serious jump or remain stranded forever dilemma. After all, there really is no turning back. Next time, just call in a professional. Taking your eye off the ball even for just a second can result in some serious mishaps. So when you're baking a cake and end up accidentally dropping your entire phone into the batter, you should probably make a mental note to start paying more attention to your surroundings. At least Apple added that handy feature that tells you when your phone's temperature is too hot. You think? People love to complain about girls wearing too much makeup. And when I say too much, I mean this. No, this isn't some artist attempt to get creative on the back of a car headrest. This hilarious photo was taken after a 28-year-old woman came literally face-to-face -face with disaster when she was involved in a car accident back in 2016. Thankfully, she walked away unharmed, but an uncanny imprint of her squished visage was left on the leather headrest after she was thrown forward during the crash. The foundation and bright pink lipstick she was wearing at the time means her expression in that fateful moment was captured in a perfect snapshot. If you ask me, this is an excellent advertisement for always wearing your seatbelt. 
Freak accidents are usually no one's fault, but unforeseen disasters are still capable of being total day ruiners. In January 2020, one freight train in Crystal, Minnesota had its plans derailed when this happened. You might have a hard time figuring out why those yellow stones look so strangely uniform, and that's because they're not stones. They're corn. That's right, a leak on board caused bushels and bushels of corn to spill from the carriage, which was transporting them, forming a smooth yellow path for more than a third of a mile on the railroad track. I'd say this was a pretty bad day for all parties involved, especially the crews who were sent out to clean up the mess. Popcorn, anyone? Do you ever wake up thinking, what happened last night? Whatever state you might find the house in, I bet it would be nothing compared to this. No matter how out of control things got, how does your car end up in the pool? This looks to me like the aftermath of one of those rich people parties, but one thing's for sure, this is about to be the start of a very, very bad day. And to improve your day, don't forget to check out NordVPN's irresistible deal in the description box down below to stay protected online. There's even a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you ask me, it's a no-brainer. Phew. Those were some pretty rough days. If you're not done laughing at other people's expense quite yet, you should totally check out one of the other episodes from this series. I'll put them up on the screen for you now. Don't be shy, there's nothing wrong with a bit of binge watching. And as always, thanks for watching.